we try to get a guest, a candidate for an office, and it's crickets. His campaign manager, who doesn't know us, may have gotten on the podcast and been like, this PJ guy's making wiener jokes. Basically, you're saying... I'm shooting us in the foot. <laughs> yeah, you're holding us down. <laughs> this case should never have come to trial. I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. Because one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery, of a sham, of a mockery, of a travesty, of two mockeries, of a sham. If we are to have faith in justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. Well, I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth! Oh man! P- the anybody who has like <laughs> maximum bass in their car are gonna be like, "What is happening right now?" Oh, beautiful girls. So, isn't it Van Halen that starts off with the rumbling and brum 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 brum? Maybe. Yeah. I is. mean, I know I know Van Halen, but I'm not much of a music person. Uh, I can tell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're at 530 Frederick Street in the high-rise white brick edifice in the library studio. PJ sucking down a Burger King drink. Diet. How much weight have you lost? I am down to 273 the last I weighed myself. Wow. So almost 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Yeah. That is four 10-pound bowling balls. All right. Imagine strapping <laughs> two on the front and two in the back and walking around with them. That's what I've you got want. two in the front. Sometimes when I jump, they hurt. Well, you're working on them. You're, That's right. You're bringing them down to five pound balls. <laughs> All right. So uh, <laughs> no comment because you know where I'm going to go with that. See, uh, where's your green today? It's St. Patrick's Day. My underwear. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't want to see it. Um, you just have to take my word for it. I will take your word for it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> a day late, but you yeah. know it's a day late. But uh, you have any Irish in your blood? I don't think I may. I think I'm mostly Scottish and English and German. So hey, same here. My dad's side of the family is definitely German. The mm-hmm. name Voltry. Yeah, yeah. And then um, the uh, my mom's side is Scottish English. That is weird. That's my situation. My dad's side is is German mostly, and then on my mom's side uh, is Scottish. Wow. Primarily. Yeah. My grandfather was or great grandfather. Uh, was Scottish, so mm-hmm. he had like the accent and everything. Wow. And then, like, he was always trying to give us sips of alcohol. I bet he was. You know, I've been looking for an excuse not to talk about work ethic for now four weeks. We right? probably should talk about it some. Uh huh. Well, we're not right away. We may get to it today because I something snuck up on me, and it was something I really wanted to do. Okay, it's something I really wanted to do because I think this would be fun. F- with you on the podcast well i am synonymous with fun i know you are and this is going to make that (laughs) so true just it's just going to be an epic example of how fun you are this is a time in kentucky that is crazy because it's called march madness Mm -hmm. right is that a thing every year it's like which of our schools from our state get into the tournament and then can they make a run and win a national championship it's a big deal in kentucky oh i know yeah i've been i was having a hard time sleeping last night i was thinking about it no you aren't no and that's why (laughs) that is why what we're gonna do today is this is so foreign to you like this is like this is so foreign to PJ. Like, the only thing you probably know about March Madness is you probably hear it on the radio or on TVC advertisements or something. You know, it's right. everywhere. Bracket. I know it takes place brackets. in March. And there's brackets. And it causes madness. And bracketology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And there's brackets. I here's still don't understand Well, we're how that Here's works. what we're going to do. Are you going to have me fill out a bracket? I'm going to fill it out for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, we, we are good at brackets on this podcast. We have had Christmas song brackets. We've had Christmas movie bracket, of course. We've had right. the street fight, street brawl bracket, remember? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. There are a lot of people around this office that really think they know about basketball. I like Tyler Johnson. Right. Right. Well, he, you know, he played some sports in school. So. Sure, but he really thinks he's like he, every year he organizes a thing here at the office for us to do, and he always thinks it's just like 
taking money from a baby because he gets all these people to put money in it and then he wins he he thinks he's right. gonna win thing is is he's only won like once but he thinks he's gonna win like he, yeah. he's like mr basketball guru right i've seen so, the email so what i thought would be fun is i don't i am not gonna offer any assistance to you i will answer questions that you ask me Okay, like okay. if it's a question that you want to know, you can, you can't say well, which team's better. Okay, but like you can. Well, ask. That's the only question I'm going to no. know how to ask. No. <laughs> I, I will I will answer like questions like, well, where is that school even? Or uh, you can ask what their record is because the record's on the bracket, so I can give you the record. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go through this now. If you want to know what their mascot is, I'll help you with that. Um, you know, and whatever you need, what color their uniforms are. You know? Now, how does any of this, though, determine what makes them a better team? It doesn't. I'm just saying some people pick on stuff like that. I don't care how you pick. Is it like? Is it super based off like a superstition? I don't, I don't know. Some people have their dogs pick this thing. They go, well, which team do you like better? You know, Gonzaga or Georgia State? And they'll say Georgia State, and the dog's head will turn. Oh, he must like Georgia State. And they let their, right. you know, it's all kinds of ways. Yeah. But the thing is, is there are people. That, that sounds really there, stupid. There are people that study this stuff, <laughs> and they they really think they know the answer. And my goal is to prove that somebody that knows nothing about basketball, never watches it, never follows it, has it's totally a foreign language to them, can pick a bracket that's probably just as competitive as everybody else. Okay, so here we go. We don't have a, this. Is a lot of bracketing here. Yeah, I can and, tell. There's a lot of right. There's so a lot of teams start. on there. Gonzaga University versus Georgia State. I'm gonna go. With, I'm just gonna go with uh, Gonzaga because it just is. It's more fun to say. Okay, Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Oh, real quick, I just want to throw this out there for anybody who may have their animals choose their sports teams for you. I know I said it was stupid, and it is, but I am the foremost authority on stupid, so I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, <laughs> stupid is <laughs> <a> stupid does. <laughs> All right, next, Boise State from Idaho, of course, mm -hmm. against Memphis. I'm going to go with Memphis because I think Memphis is a more dangerous place than Boise, okay. Idaho. Okay, there you go. University of Connecticut, they're called Yukon. Okay. Versus New Mexico State. I'm going to go with New Mexico. New because Mexico. Is the Yukon even anywhere near, like the real Yukon, even near Connecticut? Yeah. Is it? It's the University of Connecticut. Yeah, but Yukon, I thought that was like a mountainous region. No. <laughs> Somewhere in like Montana. That's why U K O N. This is you, like the university, con, oh, C O N U con, gotcha. <laughs> Have I told you that I think it's stupid when people have their pets pick the teams? <laughs> so, so, well, so New Mexico State is on the bracket right. because UConn is nowhere close to the UConn. Right. Gotcha. All I'm right. going to go with, uh, <laughs> what was the other one? I picked it. I already did it. New uh, Mexico State. I'm going to go with New Mexico State because I think Mexico, I think the cartel. Oh, and they're there. You they, go, they, tough, they're, tough, they're, yeah, gangsta. They are uh, gotcha. real competitors. All right, next <laughs> for big business, Arkansas. Okay, versus Vermont. Let's go with Arkansas, and I only say that because uh, it makes me think of the town that dreaded sundown, okay. which takes place in Texarkana, but it's like right there on Ar the Arkansas border. Arkansas border, yeah. right, right. Okay, next, Alabama versus Notre Dame. That sounds more like a football matchup. That really does. You know, let's go with Notre Dame because of the hunchback. Plus, people are scared of hunchbacks. Yesterday was uh, St. Patrick's Day, and the Notre Dame are the Fighting Irish. I like how we have pointed out that today is St. Patrick's Day, and then you just said yesterday. No, I was. clarified that earlier. You weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, people? We record this in advance. Sometimes. <laughs> We do. Most Sometimes time. we don't. Most times. The last two, we haven't. No, we haven't. Well, you've been busy. Texas Tech versus Montana State. Mm, let's go with Montana because I miss the big Montana from Arby's. That was a really good sandwich. I don't know if anybody <laughs> remembers the big Montana. No, I don't remember do you, that. They had a special I'm sure that's sauce a good in it. Reason to pick this game yeah. that way. It's in. They actually. It's in salmon. the movie Saving Silverman. Okay, so I don't think I've seen that mm. movie. It's an awesome movie. It's really, really funny. <laughs> Michigan State. I just love how we're picking these things, and it goes back to movies. It's just or great. food. Our food. <laughs> Michigan State 
versus Davidson. Let's go to Michigan State. Who's even heard of Davidson? Who knows what Davidson is? <laughs> it's a university. There's Pete Davidson. Okay, next. Duke okay. versus Cal State <laughs> University Fullerton. I'm going to go with Duke because it's just uh, quicker to say. Okay. Baylor from Texas mm-hmm. versus Norfolk State. Oh, pff, anybody from Texas is going to stomp whoever the other person is. <laughs> Baylor. Let's be honest. Okay. Here's one. Okay. North Carolina All right. versus Marquette. Mm, I'm going to North Carolina next month, so Pick. let's go with that. Wait, no, I take that back. I'm going to North Charleston, South Carolina, so I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot there's two I Carolinas. I don't think Charleston or South Carolina are in this. We'll so stick with, with what Carolina I pick. We'll, well, you know, the word Carolina in right. it. Right. <clears throat> St. Mary's versus Indiana. Let's go with St. Mary's. It's a hospital. It helps people. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the dumbest bracket cho- choosing ever No, this in is existence. perfect. I'm telling you. We're going to find out. All right. UCLA versus Akron. UCLA is University of California, Los Angeles. Akron is in an Ohio. Right. Let's go with Ohio because I have a bunch of friends in Ohio. There you go. Texas versus Virginia Tech. <laughs> I, wait a second. Do you know something? Does Akron suck really bad? That's I'm why you just made you. that face. I can't help you on this bracket or it will not. It'll lose its purity. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is complete purity. This is purity. This is the Puritan. And that thing's worked out real well for them. I did not influence <laughs> this bracket in any regard. Texas versus Virginia Tech. Didn't we already do this one? No, that was Baylor. How many different places are coming out of Texas? Uh, well, we also had Texas Tech. <laughs> These are the Longhorns versus Virginia Tech Hokies. Yikes. <laughs> Not Hogies. Ho- Hokies. <laughs> Don't <laughs> stop hoagies. making me. You're making me oh, hungry. Food. Virginia uh, Tech. Because let's go with Texas again. Okay. Because you know, they're, they're, they're rough and gruff. This is an interesting matchup. Purdue versus Yale. You got chickens versus Purdue. smart people. <laughs> Let's go with the chickens, because chickens fight. Chickens will fight. Oh Let's God. go with Purdue. All right. <laughs> well, it has nothing to do with the chicken processing plan. Probably so. not. I don't know. Murray State versus San Francisco. Let's go with Murray State. Allie will be happy. <laughs> You're welcome. Kentucky versus St. Peter's. <laughs> Kentucky what? University of Kentucky. Wildcats. Oh, okay. Let's go with the Wildcats. I stepped out. We'll go to the other side that. before we go back to those, okay? Arizona versus Wright State University. Wright State is from, like, I think the Dayton area. Let's go with Wright State because when you got Wright in the name, how can you go wrong? It's W R I G H D, but that's okay. Dang it. Seton Hall versus Texas Christian University. <laughs> you know what? Let's give it to the Christians. I'll yeah. give it to the Christians. We'll see what happens. I'm going to uh, have faith that the Christians will come through for me. All right. Houston, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Houston versus UAB. What's UAB? University of Alabama, Birmingham. I've been doing a lot of Texas. Let's go with Alabama. Oh, you're going to switch it to UAB. Mm-hmm. Houston. Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Illinois versus <laughs> Chattanooga. Um, Pardon me, boys. Is this the Chattanooga? I was going to say, let's do Chattanooga. I'm going to do Chattanooga. Well, Colorado State versus Michigan. Mm. Let's go with Colorado. I don't know why. I'm just going with Colorado. Tennessee. And I'm almost afraid to say this next one because I know exactly where you're going to go with it. Uh Uh-oh. It's the University of Tennessee versus Longwood. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go with Longwood because, you know, I got that same problem. (laughs) I just just knew. I should have just said LW or something. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, Longwood. You don't have that problem. It's backwards day. <laughs> Opposites. Opposite day is That's right. Jackson says all the time. Ohio State versus Loyola, Chicago. Let's go with Loyola because um, Father Mulcahy from MASH, that's where he went to school. There you go. Villanova <laughs> versus Delaware. Let's go with Villanova because it kind of has villain in the name. There the you go. Name. I knew that was coming. Villanova. Good pick there. Yes. Uh, Kansas, <laughs> Kansas versus Texas Southern. Let's, let's, Texas uh, has got every school in the state. I was, was going to say, how many Texas-based schools are I mean, is that even fair? I don't know. Te- Kansas versus Texas Southern. Let's go with Texas. Here, So, 
how can Texas have so many schools? It's because it's so big. Everything's big. Right, but Texas. doesn't that make the odds in their favor having so well, many they're all, they teams? They all play in different conferences, so it doesn't really matter. I was just thinking law of averages, I guess. Yeah, you could be right. There's seven or eight teams in here from Texas. San Diego State versus Creighton. Where's Creighton at? It's a private school in Omaha, Nebraska. Let's go with the other one. Private schools, they take money away from public schools. Oh, so you went San Diego State Let's University? Let's go San Diego because that's where um, the the T-Rex attack took place in you're, the Lost You're world. right. It did. Now, that one I know about. Of 1997. Iowa versus Richmond. Let's go with Richmond. They're the spiders, by the way. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> Providence versus South Dakota State. Mm. Providence? Let's go with Providence. You want to know what their mascot is or not? You want to wait? Maybe. Sure. Tell me what the mascot is. They're the Friars. Oh, okay. Like Friar Tuck? Or like the Friars that have the weird hats on their head? Friars with the weird hats on oh, their Oh, okay. I was thinking like Friar Tuck from no. Robin Hood. Or, and not Deep Friars. I'll, how about an Air Fryer? Air Fryer is more healthy. <laughs> It is, but do you not think air fryer food has like a weird, kind of a weird t taste? I, you know, only thing I do in, with our our air fryer is French fries, mm -hmm. and then I reheat thin crust pizza in it, hmm. and, and and it does a good job because it keeps it crisp. Right. Hmm. LSU versus Iowa State. Mm. LSU, Louisiana State. Right. University. Let's go with LSU. That one just jumps oh, out at me. Okay. Wisconsin versus Colgate. I like cheese, but I don't like brushing my teeth, so we'll <laughs> go with Wisconsin. <laughs> All right. Here we go. USC, University of Southern California versus Miami. Mm. Let's go to Miami because that's murder capital of the world. They have like the most murders in the United States, I believe. Really? Yeah, Miami is a pretty dangerous place. Auburn <laughs> has everything to do with sports, of course. Oh, yeah. Auburn. Okay. Versus Jacksonville State, and I will throw in this, just so you know, that Jacksonville State's coach was the coach that coached at Kentucky Wesleyan for years and won all those national championships, Ray Harper. Okay, so uh, Auburn versus Jacksonville State. Let's go with Jacksonville State then. Now, do we have to narrow these down even further? Yeah, we're now down to 32. Okay. Gonzaga mm -hmm. versus Memphis. Mm. Let's go with Memphis. New Mexico State versus Arkansas. Let's go with Arkansas. <laughs> Notre Dame versus Montana State. Let's go with Notre Dame. Michigan State versus Duke. Let's go with Duke. Makes me think of Escape from New York. I just watched that the other night. Another movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How many movies do you watch a week? Uh, too many. Baylor versus North Carolina. Let's go with Baylor. St. Mary's versus Akron. St. Mary's. Texas versus Purdue chickens. Ooh. I think Texans eat chicken. Murray State versus UK. And that it so it's against itself. Hmm. Let's go with UK. Okay. Next side. <laughs> Wright State versus Texas Christian University. Let's you know, I'm gonna stick with the Christians on this one, see what happens. Okay. UAB versus Chattanooga. Let's go with Chattanooga. Colorado State versus Longwood. Got to stick with that long wood. <laughs> I want to see them through to the end. Loyola versus Villanova. Let's go with Loyola. Over the villains? Texas Southern versus San Diego State University. Mm, let's go with Texas again. Richmond Spiders versus the Providence Friars. <laughs> uh, we'll go with the Spiders. I like Spire. LSU, Spiders more than Friars. L <laughs> this is LSU versus Wisconsin. Uh, let's go with LSU. Miami murder capital versus Jack State. And Benito a Miami. Miami. Yeah, that's from that Will Smith song. Yep. We're going to do it. <laughs> I'll trust you. Let's go back and do, okay, it's getting, this is where it's, you know, Gets down not to cutting the, time. The nitty gritty. Not cutting time. Memphis versus Arkansas. Mm, let's go with Memphis. 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 The king. All right. Notre Dame versus Duke. Let's go with Duke. Do you literally, like, you have to take this all the way to the middle, or uh -huh. is it? You have to pick the national champion. <laughs> Baylor versus St. Mary. Let's go with Baylor. Texas versus UK. Let's go with UK. The Christians versus Chattanooga. Let's stick with the Christians. I'm, I'm going to hope they pull through for me. But then they, <laughs> you're going to be. <laughs> they, they, they suck, don't no, they? <laughs> they're not that bad. 
<laughs> they're an eight seed. They <laughs> won. T- they won bad. twenty games this year. Is that uh, good? <laughs> they lost twelve. <laughs> there's there's eight hundred games. But they've won twenty of them. <laughs> Longwood versus Loyola. Let's go with Loyola because now that it's getting down to the okay the knit and the grit. Texas, I really don't have Texas any idea Southern. <laughs> Texas Southern versus the Richmond Spiders. Let's go with Texas again. Tiso. All right. LSU versus Miami. LSU. <laughs> they suck too, don't they? No, they're okay. They're good. Oh god, that means they suck. They won twenty two games. <laughs> only only two more of the 800 than that no, other team. They were 22 and 11. Okay. Wait, Man, do you have stats on there already? Yeah, it's over here. How come I'm not knowing these stats? Because I said you could ask me anything. You could ask I me. I didn't that. know there were stats on there. I told now you. Now we got to start over. Okay. <laughs> Gonzaga versus Georgia. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to start over. Memphis versus Duke. Mm, let's go with Duke. Baylor versus UK. Let's go with UK. Texas Christian versus Loyola. Let's stick with the Christians and see what happens. Isn't Loyola like a Christian-based school too? Catholic. Yeah. yeah. What's Christian? Texas Southern versus LSU. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Texas. All right. Your final four is Duke versus Kentucky, the Texas, the Christians University versus Texas Southern. Uh, Duke versus UK first. Let's get, let's stick with UK and see what happens. Okay. Texas Christian versus Texas Southern. I'm going to stick with the Christians. I have a feeling like they're going to get knocked out right away. <laughs> First round. <laughs> yep. All right. And for the final game, UK versus Texas Christian. How much are these brackets? I'm not putting this one in. We're going to compare it to the, to the others, but we're, you don't have. How much are the brackets? Though? $5, but it's too late. They've started. Do you, do you really think if I went to Tyler today and said, hey, I'll throw $5 in with a bracket, he's going to tell me no? Well, the thing he might look, he'll look at my bracket and go, "Yeah, you could do this." All right. He'll take your money. No, I think what we'll do is I'll keep track of this, and we'll <clears> see <throat> at the end how it compares. Right. Okay. So now I pick between who now? UK and, and the Christians. Christians. This know, is what? like I'm gonna Satan take a, versus right. I'm gonna take a leap of faith and let's stick with the Christians. Now here's the thing: if Christians win or if the Christians lose the next game, does that mean every one of them you're out? Right, all the way down. So it's automatically yeah, but the whole thing but is that's out. only one of your yeah. But see what happens? You get points for these. So if you get a ton of them right, it doesn't matter if TCU loses. Right. That's it's 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 a weighted bracket. Like they like first round games are worth a point. Second round games are worth two points. Third rounds three points. But if every team you pick in that first round loses, you're done you're out pretty much entirely. Yeah. The final game is between UK and TCU. You've picked TCU. In the event of a tiebreaker, what would be the final score of this game? Now i got to come up with a score? A score of the UK-TCU game. Hold on a second. Just pull the Band-Aid off. Yeah, I just rip it. I had blood work done this morning mm. for my testosterone. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now um, what's the most amount of points you can get okay. in a basketball Infinite. game? Okay. <laughs> What's an average game? An average game is in the 70s. Let's do 73 to 57. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, ladies like, and gentlemen. Is that a good game? Or is well, that... they would be, I mean, they may pull it out at the end. 73, yeah, 73 is right in the ballpark. 57 is low. So it's a little low, but I mean, you know, you never know what can happen. These national championship games, you never know, PJ. You just never know. It's kind of like a jury. Duke versus Kentucky, TCU versus Texas Southern for the final four. And then he has a final of UK and the te- the Christians of Texas Christian University. Actually, the mascot for Texas Christian is the devil. That would be funny. <laughs> that would it? be funny. Horned frogs. They're the Texas Christian horned frogs. That's a really random <laughs> mascot. And guess what color the university is? White, gold, purple. Purple and white and gray. So they're the purple frogs. <laughs> purple frogs. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it. We're going to put up here PJ Starks. All right, so thank you for participating, being a good sport. That's no problem. Um, I will tell you this. Now I'm going to do a little analysis on your bracket, okay? Okay. The, it's bad. No. <laughs> so there are probably 90% of Kentuckians – would agree with you on advancing Kentucky to the national championship game. They are mm-hmm. a very good team this year. Sounds a bit biased. Um, but, okay. but they're very good this year. Right. Duke is not as good as they normally are, 
But I would say that there are going to be a significant number of people that do advance Duke to the Final Four. They're historically a good tournament team. Right. This year's team's been real hard to figure out. They're, they can be like lights out, but then they can be terrible. Them being in the Final Four, like when you look at it, you're like, yeah, Duke's in the Final Four. It makes sense. But my personal opinion is they probably get knocked out a little earlier. I don't think anybody's going to have TCU in the <laughs> Final Four. <laughs> they're not going to have TCU in the final game, and they're certainly not going to have TCU as the national champion. If that happens, you will probably overnight, like everybody's going to come to you asking for lottery numbers and all kinds of stuff because that would one would, would break. Yeah, hopefully that happens. Then. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I have to start I hope praying. It does. I mean, the Christians <laughs> need to resort to prayer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> likewise... If you were to ask me between Texas Christian and Texas Southern, which team is most likely to go further, I would say Texas Christian. Um, Texas Southern had to play a game just to like earn the right to be in the tournament. So Texas Southern coming out of that bracket would be, again, a – if you get – Either one of those in the final four, it, you've done great, okay? Because they're not they're they're dark horses, right? Um, so that side of your bracket concerns me. The left side of your bracket totally could happen. Totally could happen. Uh, if you would have picked UK over TCU here in the end, I thought about doing that. Yeah, because but it, but it, it just seems like that's what anybody would do, and that's why I went against the grain. There you go. Um, now, so, if I had five dollars on this, I probably would have said UK. Like your elite eight of Memphis. And Duke and Baylor, and yeah, that could very well happen. Over here, LSU may make it to the Elite Eight. I don't know. They've had a rough end of their season. Their coach just got fired for cheating. Um, like on his wife? No, cheating. In a game? No, cheating like program-wise, like get, illegally getting recruits and stuff. So, <laughs> real quick, uh, we got a couple of updates. Okay. We, we've been shunned by a guest and uh i don't know if i would say shunned didn't but we, respond yeah, there's just yeah it just i haven't no response uh, yeah not yet um we're not going to say who it is but it's a local it's a person who's running for local office a very important office and we reached out to them because not only does pj know him but tyler knows him everybody talks about how wonderful of a person he is he had an opportunity to be on law light he, he had the opportunity to be the first candidate that we had We've never had a candidate on Law Light. I don't think so. So we're kicking around the idea of whether or not to bring on the adversary to the show uh, <laughs> just to say, hey, you don't do that to us. Controversy. Controversy. Right. <laughs> Competition. Uh, so that's one thing I want to talk about. We've actually, the podcast has taken a couple tough blows this week. The other tough blow we took was from a local business where we were wanting to go do live on location podcast once a month they said no we weren't a good fit we weren't a good fit for their restaurant that had six people in it at lunchtime <laughs> now again i, again, I have I'm to a, admit I, I don't know what that means exactly it's that we're not a good fit just so people that are listening to this don't understand and do i sound bitter a little bit <laughs> kenny um <laughs> it's not here, kenny's fault and here's here's what i think we were not asking them for anything free. Like, hey, will you feed us lunch when we come over yeah. once a month? We were willing to promote their yeah. restaurant on every podcast, not just the ones while we were there, but to say thank you to them. We weren't getting anything out of the deal other than a place to set up our microphones and sit in a booth. And we were going to order right. food to actually help their business. Right. See, that's why I say I thought it was bizarre that they said it's not a good fit because you're getting free advertising and patronage at the same time. And that's right. The only thing I can think of is when you said that on the one Friday or one Thursday we come over a month that we may need them to turn down the house music. Yeah, but I think it was just like 96 STO or something that they were Which playing. we advertise on, so are they tired of hearing us on there too? Maybe that's what it is. I have no idea, but it really, uh, we, we've got to find, because they I were. Have a, I have a call in with a place, and I'm waiting to hear back from the manager. We're not going to throw this business under the bus, because I, I, I don't want some, there may be a, a totally valid reason, mm -hmm. and they just didn't, it could be that they're getting ready to sell their company, to, and they don't want to have that commitment, and then right. it's like a weekend of this go, oh. Thanks. You Maybe know. they're ashamed of the products that they make. 
Yeah, and maybe. they were afraid that we would say something negative about it. And like, like this we doesn't taste good. Yeah, like this this kind of has. I think there might be poop in this. <laughs> the thing is, is everything I've heard about their food. I've tasted it. It's good. It's, yeah, it would have been a perfect place, centrally located. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, so the and it goes back to my that location goes back to a place I used to hang out in high school. It used to be Pep's Burritos. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, now you may have just given it away. Oh, Pep's Burritos. <laughs> listen, here's the thing: <laughs> the podcast is trying to listen to our audience. They've said get guests. We try to get a guest, a candidate for an office, and it's crickets. I kind of understand that because people get weird. When politics are involved. Okay. Fine. You know, and I mean, his I campaign you, manager who doesn't know us may have gotten on the podcast and been like, guys, PJ's, PJ guy's making wiener jokes. Maybe. And that's, that's probably not the best uh, thing for you. You but know, you once again, maybe that, maybe that is so the what same. Basically you're saying I'm shooting us in the is, foot. Yeah. You're holding <laughs> us down. <laughs> well, I don't you're, know. You're the anchor. I was. No, it's just you but know. But you didn't you know pick what? the Christian I, I university that, to win yeah, the bracket. That's right. You know, I, maybe maybe they weren't a good fit for us. Maybe so. We sound like the girl that didn't get invited to the prom. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I am the girl that didn't get invited to the prom. So here, here's my next podcast. We will, here's three things that are happening. Number one, we are going to update the bracket that you just picked. Okay. Number two, we hope to have an announcement about an on location type deal that we are trying to strike with another area business mm -hmm. and uh, three we are going to we, we're going to be bringing back some guests and we'll be announcing a guest and four eventually we'll talk about work ethic this is work ethic what we're trying to do oh, absolutely here. well you know let me let me say this about work ethic um i was supposed to for those who don't know not that you would i had to go uh, pick up connor from school because he threw up in class and uh, take him over to his mom's house and drop him off i was supposed to come right back and get the podcast set up but instead of doing that when i got back i got the rest of my equipment together because that's what i was doing before i got the phone call from his school and i went outside and got a bunch of dolly shots of the firm right and went ahead and finished that out before setting this up to do this so that's right that's because work, work is comes first that's right well i mean foreman this is, watson holtry this is still work but i still wanted to get my work done in the order in which i'd planned on doing it and knowing your priorities that's a better way of putting it we have countless examples of how our people work around here i'll give you one example as we close out all right I have some research that I need done on some medical issues. I kind of am starting to steer a case a certain direction. I kind of had this aha moment on the case. I was like, mm, maybe this is the way to go. With it. So I needed Katie to do some work. I have a small window of time for it to work in. Katie heard me say that. Katie was supposed to go to Bowling Green today for a doctor's appointment this afternoon. And she canceled it because she wants to get this done. Oh, wow. That's work ethic. Or that tells me it wasn't anything serious. She was going to use Let's a at least frame it the way we want to yeah. in the podcast. Hey, yeah. it's my daughter. I better not take that From Murray? No. <laughs> I'll just... Uh... And see, that right there is work ethic. Because right now we're doing a work-based podcast, and you just pretty much denied your daughter no, a conversation. Because I mean, we're, so we cu we're cutting this off like we're done anyway. <laughs> this has been Law Light brought to you by Foreman Watson Holtry, FWHlegal.com. You can come to us for bracket information. You can come for, to us as a guest anytime because we need them. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you soon. This case should never have come to trial. I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. Because one time I turned into a dog, and they helped me. Thank you. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery, of a sham, of a mockery, of a travesty, of two mockeries, of a sham. If we are to have faith in justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. Well, I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth!